Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a tool you can use to compare multiple different texts. In our case we'll be comp comparing different interviews from our civil rights oral history collection. These comparisons will allow us to see how the perspectives of different interviewees are unique even though each interviewee is talking about their involvement in the civil rights movement in Louisiana. So the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the tool we're using, which is called Voyant. And you can get to Voyant at voyant-tools.org. This tool is more powerful and more complex than the data basic tools um, that I went over in the previous tutorial about word frequency using specifically the word counter tool. It's possible that this tool might be a little out of reach for middle schoolers, um, but it should be accessible definitely for undergraduates and high school students. Okay, so now that you're at Voyant, what we're going to do is upload our selected interview text files. So I'm clicking the upload button. I am in my interview text files folder which you should have already either downloaded or compiled yourself. And I'm going to select my Jones interview, my Patio Johnson interview, and my Redden interview. I can select all three of these by clicking Shift on my keyboard and then clicking the bottom interview. It'll select all three. And then I click Open, and it is uploading my corpus. Okay, so you can see there are these multiple panels of information. It might feel a little overwhelming when you first see it, but we're only going to be looking at a couple of different types of data that this tool provides. Specifically, down here in the lower left-hand quadrant, we will start by looking at summary. So you can resize these panels. I'm going to pull this up so that I get a bigger view of my summary panel. This provides a quick glance of some of the most important information about these texts. We can see that the Jones interview is the longest while the Redden, Redden interview is the shortest. We can see that the Redden interview has the highest vocabulary density um, or uses the most unique words um, balanced against the number of words contained in the interview. While Jones has the lowest vocabulary density, we can see that Patio Johnson, on average, uses the longest sentences with almost 16 words per sentence, whereas Jones has the shortest sentences with 11 words per sentence. But what we're going to be focusing on is this distinctive words section. Distinctive words is showing us the words that occur frequently in one interview, but not at all frequently in the other two. So they're the, wor they're, they're the words that are the most unique to each interviewee. Right now we're only seeing five distinctive words, but at the bottom left there's a slider where you can change the number of items viewed. And I'm going to move this all the way up to 40 items so we get a longer list of those distinctive words. So now we can see some of these distinctive words don't tell us much about what the interviewee was actually saying. It's more um, various names and numbers that might have more to do with information about that interview session. But we do get some meaningful words here, such as daddy, southern, brother, lumber, rain, morning, horse, cotton, Sunday. So all of these words are connected to the Jones interview. If I was doing this activity um, either for my own benefit as research or leading students through it, I would definitely pull up a separate text document and start making a list of the distinctive words that seemed the most meaningful to me. The Patio Johnson interview, we've got distinctive words such as association, 
program, meetings, integration, organizations, activities, police. And then in the read and interview, we have distinctive words such as registration, poverty, movement, slavery, outrageous, nonviolent, facilities, canvassing. So already by seeing how each interview has its own unique vocabulary, there emerges um, some inferences we could make about how each interviewee's perspective is different. In the Jones interview, we have words dealing with maybe rural work and labor. Um, Patio Johnson, we have words that suggest some committee work, some work with organizations, some um, sort of community organizing. And indeed, those are activities that Patio Johnson was involved in. In the Redden interview, with words like poverty, nonviolent, slavery, shows perhaps a more distant, bigger picture of the civil rights movement in Louisiana. Um, we also have words dealing with canvassing and voter registration. And indeed, Redden was a, or is a white woman who visited Louisiana for a summer during the civil rights movement to do um, activist work. If you wanted to dig deeper into this distinctive words list, we could do that. These panels can be changed. So right now, this panel is showing contexts, which I don't care to see right now. But if I move over the little Windows icon, I can change the tool that this panel is showing. So I'm going to move down to Document Tools, and I'm going to select Document Terms. Within Document Terms, I'm going to go over to this drop-down menu to columns, and I'm going to select significance. And then I'm going to sort, so this is sort descending, so I have the highest significance at the top. Significance is the same number that distinctive words is using, so it's showing the words that occur frequently in one document and infrequently in the others. By moving over here to Documents on the left panel, next to Summary, this allows me to control which specific document I'm looking at. So if I click Jones Interview, I'm seeing the significant terms from the Jones Interview. So we see again, Daddy, Southern, Brother, Lumber, Dance, Rain, but we can look at a lot more than 40 terms. You could keep scrolling down. Um, to see other significant terms. Okay, so that's an overview of how to use Voyant tools to compare different texts and get a sense of how the perspectives in those texts change. I hope you find this a useful tool for looking at our collections as data in new ways.